<laughs> Saturday was a fantastic day because I have been able to witness Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers once again, let's just say, shit the bed. Now, if you don't know, I believe, I am under the belief that Aaron Rodgers is highly, highly overrated. I have a video that I've made before, and I'll link that in the description about the first time that I thought he was overrated, or just the first video. But the Packers recently went up against the 49ers. Now, everybody and their mom had the Packers to win this game handedly. There's not a lot of belief in the offensive side of the ball for the Niners. Maybe not, maybe not even the defense, but especially Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo, and both quarterbacks had a crappy game. First of all, no one threw a touchdown. Garoppolo threw a interception. Garoppolo barely had over 100 yards. Rodgers barely over 200 yards. Now. I was under the belief that Aaron Rodgers has been overrated for a long time. Because you think about Aaron Rodgers, you think about the talent. And everyone thinks he's a bad man. And he can make Hail Mary throws and this and that and this and that. And I'll never discredit the talent. But I think that is becoming a crutch and somewhat of an excuse for people just to hype him up, to talk about him. But to really not realize the actual picture here. Yes, he's a Hall of Famer. Yes, he, he is a Super Bowl champion. Then again, that came about 10 seasons ago, 11 seasons ago. So here we are. So you're telling me every season he's made the playoffs or he's been in the running and he just can't win the real game. He can't win the game that matters the most. Aaron Rodgers is nothing uh, but with drama. He wanted a new coach. Guess what? They got a new coach. The one of the better players. They have some great players in Adam Jones and Devontae Adams. And yet, here we are yet again when someone like Aaron Rodgers was given everything he wanted, every situation that he wanted. He keeps chirping. He keeps making drama. And here we are again. He's going home. He's not in the Super Bowl. Now, I in no way, shape, or form trying to bash this guy saying he's a bad dude, even though I think some of it's decisions off field are kind of questionable and just because they've been so damn public all the time and I do think he's a Hall of Famer but at some point and at what point do we have to stop saying you know he's a bad man he's talented this and that this and that because everyone's just using it as a disclaimer as an excuse for him not winning the important games you can go 16 and 0, 17 and 0, 18 and 0, 19 and 0, don't matter. But for some reason, you can't win this game. Now that's two seasons in a row that he has had home field advantage, probably favored in both games. I forget if he was favored against the Buccaneers last year, but you've lost both games. Even the year with the Buccaneers, now I had Tom Brady winning that game because it's Tom Brady, and hell, he almost came back in the game that they just lost. It's unreal, but anyway, that's a whole other video. Aaron Rodgers, again, crapped the bed. Now, it's interesting, if, if you were to look at the stat sheet, Aaron Rodgers only really threw to two guys, Aaron Jones and Devontae Adams. Why is that? When last year's game, he had multiple targets to other players. Everyone got a good share of the ball. He was just he was distributing the offense, but for some reason this year, you didn't do it. Now, reasons are reasons, but something tells me that you don't necessarily trust your players, and you came too dependent on one or two players. And from the stat sheet, it definitely just looks like that. Now, and you're telling me. In, I don't care about the snowy conditions. You're telling me in Lambeau Field, in conditions that you're used to playing in, you're only you were only able to score 10 points, and against an offense with Jimmy G, they scored 13 points. I could see you making a case if you got blown out, or if it was, you know, 28-24, you know, a high-scoring game back and forth, time running out of, the, you know, all that stuff. But you, you scored a touchdown in the first quarter and then nothing until a field goal. That's inexcusable, that's unbelievable, and it's unacceptable. Now, I always believe that Aaron Rodgers is a little overrated, a little overhyped, and now for two years in a row, 
it's been proven. What do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comment section below if you're someone who finally believes in the idea that Aaron Rodgers might just be overrated, overhyped, talented, a Hall of Famer, but if you need someone to win a game, an important game, I'm not going to go to A-Rod. Let us know in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys next time.